Hello everyone, it's been a while since my last video. The lack of updates on the channel is because I've been really busy these days. We recently opened an online store on Tokopedia targeting the Indonesian market. If you're a viewer from Indonesia, you can now directly purchase mining rigs and accessories on Tokopedia. All right, let's get into today's video. I wanna show you the latest product I've got. Um, for those who've been following our channel, you know I've become quite a fan of, uh, of solo mining. And recently I received a new solo miner called the Lucky Miner. Firstly, the name is spot on. In solo mode, the Bitcoin block time is every 10 minutes. And if you win, you get an entire Bitcoin block, which is around 625 Bitcoins, roughly $290,000. And you don't have to share it with anyone. We all wanna be that lucky one. So let's unbox the Lucky Miner together. Now take a look at this little box. It has a hollow Bitcoin logo on the body and the side, along with a small antenna seemingly for signal enhancement, given that the casing is all metal. I must say, the feel is quite comfortable and has a premium touch. The box includes the corresponding power supply, a bit larger than I expected. The label indicates it's a five volt, six amps power supply. And as far as I know, this miner consumes around 13 watts, if I remember correctly. It's negligible compared to our ASIC miners. This Lucky Miner LV6 has a hash rate of 500 gigahashes per second. If you remember from our previous videos on Nerd Miner with 55 kilohashes per second, that means LV6 has a probability of hitting a block 8.5 million times higher than Nerd Miner. Actually, I received their previous generation product, LV5, a month ago, but I didn't make a video about it. The reason is, well, it just didn't match my aesthetic preferences. I, I honestly conveyed this to the Lucky Miner team and provided my suggestions, such as the placement and color of the logo and even the choice of screws. Surprisingly, they genuinely considered my suggestions, making me feel like I was part of the product design process. I'm quite excited about it. LV6 looks much cleaner. Without those strange symbols, the color appears more metallic and they indeed change the screws. The previous generation honestly looked quite plastic. Anyway, I believe they are a manufacturer that truly cares about user experience, unlike some big names in the industry who, even though they know they produce products that are like crap, they won't make any improvements. Uh, so I think this LV6 is a great item for gifting, affordable, but novel and interesting enough to make your friends impressed and delighted. I've been a miner for many years and will continue to update videos related to blockchain mining. If you're interested, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and feel free to leave any suggestions in the comments. Thank you. Well, regarding the video about BitAx, I noticed many comments mentioning issues with setup and connection. Although configuring Lucky Miner was smooth, I've decided to create a setup video for you, especially for those who might be watching this for the first time. Let's go step by step. Okay, now that we've plugged it in, you can see the screen displaying retry because I haven't configured the Wi-Fi yet. Next, grab your phone, find the Wi-Fi name Lucky Miner, and click. Wait for it to redirect to the configuration page. Remember, here you enter the SID. Make sure you connect to a working network, your home, Wi-Fi, and input your mining pool address and port and the user enter your Bitcoin wallet address, which you should have copied beforehand. Note, it must be Bitcoin mainnet wallet address or else it will fail to connect. Leave the other fields as default, then click save. See, it won't take more than three minutes to configure. Don't forget to restart and now everything's ready. After setup, you won't find it's Wi-Fi anymore. So if you wanna check any running data, you need to enter the IP address displayed on the machine into your browser. Let's take a look together directly enter the home page and you can see all the information about your miner power fan speed chip temperature and current hash rate etc if you need to change settings like switching pools i've listed some available ones here for you to choose from now i'll switch to vk bit to give it a try port 3303 that's it click save it's saved and then reset Simple as that. Back to the home page. We've successfully made the change and you can see the corresponding hash rate. All right, for solo mining, all you need to do is connect it and forget about it. Very simple. Just leave it there and wait for the surprise to come. Since LV6 has a hash rate of 500 gigahashes or 0.5 terahash, 
theoretically, you can use it for pool mining. But of course, Bitcoin won't work in this case. At the current difficulty, you won't get any profits. However, you can use it to mine some other cryptocurrencies based on the SHA-256 algorithm. According to the official information, there are many coins you can try since these altcoins may not seem valuable now, but who knows if they'll skyrocket in the next year or the year after. It's the crypto world. Anything is possible. Many people are curious whether solo mining can really mine Bitcoin. I have to say solo mining is indeed real, but compared to pool mining, you won't have stable earnings. It's a probability issue depending on your hash rate and the current difficulty. At the same time, once you do get earnings, if we take in 19 with 90 tera hashes as an example, let's do some math. Once you hit a block with solo mining, you'll get the equivalent of the Bitcoin mine by in 19 with 90 tera hashes in pool mining over 31,710 days. If we convert it to actual dollars, you also need to consider the high electricity costs for using the ASIC miner. So it's your personal choice. If you go to NiceHash, you can see they have a dedicated easy mining section according to their description. It's essentially based on solo mining, expressing it as the simplest way to participate in the mining process of blockchain technology. So, okay, that's not wrong, but I think it can be misleading. People know about blockchain mining, but they may not necessarily understand the difference between solo mining and pool mining. Newcomers might think blockchain mining will always bring profits, but that's not the fact. Let's click in and take a look. Okay, at the top, it shows the total number of blocks mined through easy mining on NiceHash. The statistics start from September 2022, not even a year and a half, yet the total amount is staggering. Although I have some doubts about this number, it's possible. So in easy mining, you can choose to join a team or just buy a single package. Let's look at the Bitcoin packages. Okay, there are three packages. Well, you can see the price of the package. Goldies only requires $4.24. Also the block reward and probability. But I can't see any hash rate here. The duration is one hour. Wait, what kind of luck can let you hit a block in an hour? The other two packages, Gold M is $42, 42 cents for two hours. Gold L is $424, 16 cents for four hours. So the difference in packages is just the time, but um, so it should be about increasing the probability with a short time and high hash rate. Once the time is up, you'll know if your money has gone down the drain. Instead of doing this, why not buy a solo miner? I mean, this way you have a lifetime to participate, although hash rate is small, you always have a chance. I'm not saying who's good or who's not, just my personal thoughts. Of course, if you have ever made money through solo mining, whether nice hash is easy mining or solo miner, please to leave a comment in the comment section for everyone to see how it works. If you want to know more or have any purchasing or usage questions about the solo miner, you're welcome to join our Telegram group for free discussion. All right, please don't forget to subscribe our channel. I'll see you in the next video.